All right, hey guys. I'm actually gonna share my screen with you, so let me do that, get that figured out. I'm actually gonna leave. Where is the start? There it is, maybe. There we go. All right, so tonight I'm just gonna share with you guys some good little nuggets from the um, New Leaders Conference that we went to last week. I think it was last week. Maybe it was the week before. I don't even remember. Um, it was awesome, and there was so much good information. So just want to share some of that information with you guys so you can implement it in your businesses as well. So um, Changing Lives Club. So Success Club for last month, or as we're now calling it, the Changing Lives Club, because really that's what it's doing. Uh, we have so many people in Success Club for last month. So congrats, everyone. There was at least 96 people that we helped. I know it was well over that, um, but that's pretty amazing. So like, over a hundred people um, really is what it was because a lot of these people um, in the five plus had more than five. So, you know, over a hundred people we helped. That's really, really incredible. So great job, everyone. Um, just so amazing. Keep it up. So a little housekeeping, get to events, put them in your calendars, mark them down. Um, we got summit. July uh, 28th to the 30th, Super Saturday, April 2nd, and the Success Club trip, trip 2017, um, the date's right there. And of course, this month is Team Cup. Um, it's gonna be an awesome, awesome month, and this is actually a picture of the real Team Cup, so pretty freaking cool. Um, if you guys don't know about who I am, my name's Kylie Jolliker. I'm a two-star diamond coach. I started May of 2014, and I'm now a full-time coach. And you know, what I've done to get here is just, I mean, a lot of it's some of the key things that I'll talk about today, but really time and consistency. Um, but that's just a little bit about me. And so we'll start the call. Oops. So here is um, some of the pictures from the event and it was really cool. So we work for an Amaze Balls company, guys. Like really freaking Amaze Balls. Um, they treated us very, very well. We got a tour of the headquarters. We got um, some cool parties to go to. We got to try out the new workout that's coming out. We got to meet Tony Horton, the cardboard version and the real version. So that was pretty cool. Um, but guys, this company that we work for is incredible so if you put the time and the work in and you commit yourself to this um, it will lead you to some pretty amazing places hopefully california is one of them because it was really cool out there but um just some pictures of what happened um, and what we got to see during our time there but really the information that we learned was really cool so if it will let me go okay um, so Carl Deichler, this guy is pretty incredible. He is really, really focused on helping people, not the profits. He's focused on helping people, which the profits come when you focus on helping. But he was talking about building teams of people, helping people. So not teams of, you know, uh, sales people teams of people helping people. So that should be your primary focus. And he talked about how he had a meeting with a CEO of another company, a health and fitness company, and how this guy was saying, you know, I, he was trying to pick his brain, like, what are you doing? And um, he was talking about return on investments and profits. And that's his, that was his main focus. And Carl was a little sh shaken up by it because he's like, you know, this guy didn't get it he was completely missing the point. And the point is helping people. Instead of saying, how can I help more people? He was saying, how can I make more money? So, and there was a reason why this guy was not, his business was not moving forward. Um, and why Beachbody is, is because the focus and the main focus of this business is people. And it starts from the top. And that's something that we really got to see when we got the tour of the headquarters and when we we're just listening to everyone at corporate speak, it was really about the culture and the focus being on people. 
And he talked about, you know, stay in your heart. So do the things that are, do the right things, right? So if you're focused on helping people, you're going to be doing the right things. And resist the urge to put the financial opportunity first. Yes, this business, you can make really good amount of money. You can do very well financially, but that isn't what's going to keep quality people around. The, what's going to keep quality people around is people that are really passionate about what they do, passionate about helping people, passionate about changing people's lives. So resist the urge to put the financial opportunity first. Don't build a Jenga business. So what does that mean? It means if you have, you know, one person here, one person here, you have like two people under you working um, and they fall, then the whole business falls. So you want to help build leaders and help build help them build leaders and you know get all these people helping people and it's not going to be a jenga business and be the ceo that focuses on helping people shares value and invites people to do it with them and give it a year and the wealth will automatically happen so if you're focused on helping people sharing the value and and inviting them so like three vital behaviors pretty much right there the wealth is going to come automatically. It's just going to happen. So focus on helping people and sharing it um, and inviting people, and that's automatically going to happen. And at first, you might be putting a lot of time into this business and being like, all right, if I counted up all the freaking hours I put into this, it's probably like five cents an hour. Um, but know that with consistent effort over time, it's going to transform into some amazing things. But Think about it as if you, you know, we're putting in time for college, right? You're going to school, learning about how to, you know, do things, how to, um, you know, basically whatever career you're picking, you're learning about stuff, but you're paying for the education, right? Think about that in the beginning um, of this business. You're learning how to do these things. You're learning how to run a business. And then that stuff is going to pay off in the long run. And then be relent relentless. Um, I have this little video thing is in front of my words. So be relentless. Um, have that burn to get people involved. So be excited. Be relentless about everything you're doing. Want to always get people involved and people joining you on this journey. And then people need what we have, guys. So there are so many people that need our help. Build value behind our product. Share about what you're doing, how it's helped people in the programs and psychology. Share about it. Create awareness and share the results that people are getting that you're getting. And reach more people in a more meaningful way. So when you're posting and when you're reaching out to people, think about, you know, who am I talking to? What needs do they have? Um, who is that person that I'm really trying to help? What are their struggles and how can I help them? Instead of just casting a broad net out there, really dial in and think about who are you talking to, what are their needs, and how can you help them? I don't know why it's not going to the next slide. Hopefully it'll go to the next slide. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Jeff Hill. So we talk, uh, we listen to Jeff Hill talk about never lose faith in the end story, regardless of the difficulties. So this, this journey, hey, Kai, yeah. Can you tell people who Jeff Hill is? There's a lot of newbies on this call. Okay. So, um, he is, what is his title? He's the, uh, sales the executive VP of sales or something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much. So, um, one of the big wigs, and works for corporate. So, um, you know, he talks, he was talking to us and, um, you know, he was talking about never lose faith in the end story, regardless of the difficulty. So this journey, there's a lot of ups and downs. It's a roller coaster. But if you confront the brutal facts, so saying where I am, where am I in my business and in my leadership? And, you know, just looking at the brutal facts and saying, no matter what happens, I'm just going to improve and get better. Um, and I'm never, ever, ever going to give up. So he was talking about the Stockdale paradox and what that is. I don't remember all the details, so you guys will have to Google it. But um, he was talking about how basically this guy, he was in like the worst situation like ever and people around him were dying. I think it was. I don't know if it was like a concentration camp or something like that. And all these people around him were 
were dying and they all had like a, like, Oh, you know, we're going to be rescued or, you know, this is going to happen or that's going to happen. And, you know, he confronted the brutal reality saying like this, you know, this might happen. And, um, it was just really crazy. If you look up the story, it's really cool. But, um, he confronted the brutal reality and he knew like how horrible it was, but he knew no matter what, he was not going to give up. And, you know, just taking that into consideration in this business and saying, no matter what happens, you know, there might be times that, you know, really stink, but no matter what, I am not going to give up. Um, and, you know, really making that just a key point in this business and creating a culture of discipline. So be thoughtful and disciplined about what you do in your business. So think about, you know, what you're doing and is that moving your business forward? Are you doing time wasting activities? Are you scrolling the newsfeed? Really having discipline in your business and what you put time into. Um, so stop doing versus start doing. So a lot of times we hear all this cool new information. We want to start doing all these other things that, you know, we probably don't need to do, but what you should focus on is what you need to stop doing. So for example, scrolling the newsfeed, are you doing that? Is that something you need to stop doing? Um, sometimes doing that is more important than starting something um, new. Become a master of inviting and sharing. So again, three vital behaviors. Find, uh, share, uh, be proof of the product works, invite, 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 you know, those are two of the biggest, um, three vital behaviors right there. That's exactly what he's talking about. And law of the harvest, what you put, put in over time, um, you will get out over time. So this does not happen overnight. It happens with consistency. Again, consistency over time. When you put the time in, over time, you will get stuff out of it over time. So put the consistency in and you'll get a lot out of it. And good to great. So this is a really good book. I haven't read it, but they talked a lot about it at the NLC. And he was saying that good is the enemy of great. So good is comfortable. So it's really easy to get comfortable and say, all right, so, you know, I'm doing pretty well at this. I'm, you know, I'm good at this, uh, but really great is what's going to push you forward. Great what's going to um, make some big things happen for you. So get out of that comfort zone and really push to be great. And again, small steps over time lead you to success. Okay, so Michelle Meyer, she was talking about leading with service and work ethic. So creating mindsets and systems to keep your sanity and grow as a team. We are in this together. We are team beach body. So creating systems to um, do this together and creating a culture and a mindset of, you know, working together, working as a team and, you know, people helping people again, that same mindset and empowering versus enabling. So empowering your coaches to take control of their business um, and, you know, figure things out kind of on their own. I mean, your upline's always there to help you, but this is your business. So if it's something you can Google, if it's something you can look up in the FAQ, if it's something that you can figure out, go and do that. And don't wait for your coach to tell you that you need to do something or that you need to, you know, do a training or that you need to reach out to people. Just start doing it. Um, you know, be the CEO of your own business. Do not blame, do not enable, just ask if you need help. Um, but take control of your business and really make some things happen. Never wait for anyone. So a sense of purpose is the difference between top performers and average performers. So how can you provide a solution for someone? So purpose. So having a purpose in this business is what's going to be the difference between, you know, average performance and top performance. And, you know, think about how can you provide a solution for someone? So like we talked about before, you're talking to a specific person. What are their struggles? What are their problems? And how are you going to provide a solution to them? So people make decisions based on manipulation or inspiration. So be the person that inspires them. Never try to manipulate anyone to do anything because you need success club points or because you need someone to reach a certain rank. Inspire them. And that's what's going to make a big difference. Be that light for people. You inspire them to do more because it's going to 
better their lives. Products create revenue, people create passion. So again, have purpose, have passion in what you're doing and show that to people. Lead with love and humility. Always lead with love, lead with love and humility. Love expands, fear contracts. And it's not what we sell, it's what we stand for. So anyone can, you know, do a fitness program or a product or buy, you know, a widget, but it's really what we stand for as Team Beachbody. And like I said, it comes from the top down, guys. The culture is really amazing. And when you believe in what you stand for, when you believe that the company makes a difference and that you make a difference, that's huge. Then other people are going to believe in you. Other people are going to get on your side. Other people are going to come to you for your help and advice because you stand for something really big. Um, so you make a difference. The company makes a difference and believe in that. All right. Melanie Mitro, how to recruit with a purpose. So again, who is that person that you are talking to? Who is that avatar? Create them. Write all the details about them out. Who is your target audience? Um, how are you going to find these people? Is it going to be through Facebook? Is it going to be through Instagram? Are you going to go, you know, knocking on people's doors? I don't know. Um, how are you going to find them? Where do they spend their time? Is it at their son's basketball game? Is it at church? Uh, you know, where do they spend their time? What are their biggest burdens? Do they hate their job? Do they not have enough time with their kids? Do they not have any motivation to work out? Make a list of their biggest burdens. And then how will you provide a solution to that person to help solve their problems, to help ease their burdens? And make uh, what makes you different from your competitors? I'll give you a hint. It's you. So think about that. And then create an avatar around these. And if you want building coaches, you have to post about the business. So it should speak to that person in some way. So again, thinking about their burden. What is their burden? Is it that they hate their job and they want to get out of it? Or, you know, whatever it is, think about that and post about coaching in that way too. And, you know, as most or all of you know, Melanie Mitro is the top coach two times in a row. Um, and she, I mean, she has kids, she has a family, and she really got, she has this making the most of your time down. She sets a schedule, she chooses to rule the day by setting a schedule and planning ahead. And, you know, I know I have a lot to learn from that. Um, but really take this into consideration. So we all have the same 24 hours. So it's, it's how you choose to arrange them. So planning them out ahead of time establishing business hours and staying focused during those hours. So whether you have to communicate to your um, children, to your spouse, whoever it is, you know, letting them know that you have business hours and then you stay, it's going to help you stay focused, um, you know, during those hours and don't jump around from task to task. So multitasking sometimes is great, but if you focus on the task at hand, you're going to get more done. Race against the clock. So Know that you have a certain amount of time to do things and then get as much as you can done during that time. I know sometimes like it's like, oh, sometimes it's great when we have more time on our hands. But then it's like, all right, then we take our time going one thing from one thing to another. But if you're always racing against the clock, trying to get as much done as you can, um, you know, that's where some big things are going to happen. And recognize time wasting activities. So Facebook scrolling. Um, hitting the snooze button. She talks about how she puts her alarm, uh, her alarm on her dresser across the room so she has to get up and shut it off. She can't just hit snooze, which is something I should probably do because I hit snooze a lot. Um, and reducing distractions. So turning off your notifications, your chats, and your calls when you have those business hours and when you're doing a certain activity. And then every single day, to-do list, one hour, um, silent power hour, timed power hour, and then plan out your week ahead of time and share it with an accountability partner or share it with your team. Um, you know, plan out your week. It's going to help you save time. It's going to help you stay on track. And a big thing that I really liked was eat that frog first thing in the morning. So the thing that you like doing the least, 
that you put off and put off and put off, get it done right in the morning. So whether it be inviting or whether it be personal development, whatever your frog is, eat that first thing in the morning and get it over with. This is something that Melanie said that I thought was like so true and so cool. She said, your body is your business. So that does not mean you have to be in incredible shape. That does not mean you have to be perfect. Um, that does not mean any of those things. That does not mean you have to be super hard on yourself. It means you're doing a program, you're um, drinking the shakes, and you're getting results, and you're sharing about it. You're proof the products work. Your body is your business. So share all the little successes you have. Share what you're doing. Share your results. But, you know, remember that your body is your business. So treat it well and follow a program and get results and share that. Your body is your business, people. All right. So Bonnie Engel's secret nuggets. Keep things simple. Complexity is the enemy of execution. So there's so many different cool like trainings and cool things we can learn and with different ways to post and market and all this different stuff, right? But keep things simple. Follow the three vital behaviors. And, um, you know, that's when you're going to get a lot of stuff done. When you try to do a bunch of different things, you're not going to be able to execute anything the way you want to because you have too much going on. So keep things simple. <clears throat> Excuse me. Be consistent. Again, consistency is key. Be consistent. And it begins and ends with Success Club. Begins and ends with Success Club. All of these people, everyone that spoke um, at the New Leaders Conference talked about how important Success Club is. So there's a reason that it's called Success Club. And there's a reason why the most successful people in this business hit Success Club. Success Club. Like, I don't know how it could be named any differently um, to really get the point across. But make sure you're hitting Success Club every single month, no matter what. It shows that you are helping people. When you're hitting Success Club, you're helping people. You're changing lives. Hit Success Club every single month. That's what's going to move your business forward. Um, and it shows that you're being consistent in this business, too. And it shows your coaches that as well. Post three to five times a day. One time about the business, um, doesn't have to be, come join coaching with me, yay, it has to be, it can be other stuff, like, you know, something that happened, um, you know, maybe for me, it's, you know, I got to sleep in a little bit, maybe it's, you know, I got to travel, um, maybe for you, it's something that, you know, someone reached out to you and said, thank you for doing this for me, I got to do, you know, I lost 10 pounds, or, you know, maybe it's the way you way you felt. Maybe it's you were able to pay your phone bill without having to stress out about it. You know, share that stuff all the time. All these little different things that's, that coaching is doing for you, um, share that. Share objections publicly. So if you get a, an objection, you know, if you're getting a lot of the same objections, share it publicly. She talked about how she basically takes an objection a week and shares it publicly. Maybe it's, you know, you know, I felt the same way at first. I didn't think, I didn't want to drink a shake because I wanted to eat real food. Um, and then share about, you know, what it really does and what it really is and that it's all natural. And then, you know, you're combating those objections publicly. So when you're talking to people privately, you're not going to get those objections as much. And you're probably going to get people that reach out and say, all right, I get it. Like, okay, I'm ready or something like that. And so basically your page is a public sneak peek into coaching. So you're sharing about what it's doing for you. You're sharing about all these things that, you know, is ha are happening in your business or in your life and how it's affecting you, whether it be, um, you know, the personal development side of things or able to travel or you're helping people or, you know, having a team and a community behind you, whatever it is, share about it and, you know, kind of make it your reality show and be the light. So again, just share that, be the positive light, be the motivational person, you know, help um, inspire people and just really, um, you know, keep it positive. Uh, recruiting. So recruit in a kind, real, good integrity way. So recruiting sometimes can be scary, especially at first, but recruiting is fun. So change your mindset, make your mindset 
like positive about recruiting and helping people and getting people to join you because it is a pretty incredible thing. You get to pick people that you want to work with and that you want to be on this journey with and that you want to travel with and um, really get to change your lives together. It's pretty incredible. So think about that and then make a list, three lists each month. So your challengers, the people that said no to you and your prospects. And those people are people that you can talk to about coaching and you can use to recruit from. Uh, and then some takeaways from her. So, so just keep it simple and just do it. It's not, um, it's so easy to do and it's so easy not to do. So all those little things that we do every day, they're very simple, but they're very simple not to do as well. So choose to do them. And only action moments happen, not aha moments. You might have an aha moment, um, you know, at an event or a call, but that's not going to do anything unless you put those moments into action. So make action moments happen, not just aha moments. And put your blinders on and don't compare. Oh my gosh, guys. So it's so easy to compare yourself in this business. I know I've done it plenty of times. You see all these people being super successful and saying, oh, why am I not there yet? What am I doing wrong? And you can really get down on yourself. Or maybe it's like, you know, why, you know, does my body not look like that yet? I'm doing the programs and I'm following Shakeology and all this stuff. Stop comparing yourself to other people. This is your journey. So whether it be coaching, whether it be the fitness part of things, this is you, this is your journey. Everyone's going to be different. All you can do is take some little nuggets from them and learn from them and what they're doing and apply it in your own way to help you be more successful, but don't compare yourself to others because that is so easy to get dragged down with. But put your blinders on and just keep moving forward and be on your own journey. You're exactly where you need to be based on what you've done and um, who you are uh, and where you're at in this business. And I know share, Meg shared this last time, but um, I thought it was really cool. So sometimes you just have to jump and build your wings on the way down. So you might not, you might be a new coach. You might be do, have been doing this for a while. Um, maybe there's things that you have no idea what you're doing. Just jump, build your wings on the way down. You're going to learn how to do it. You're going to figure it out, but just do it and take action. So schedule your week out in advance. Um, and every single day, drink your shake, do your workout, read a book, share about it and start and finish a power hour. That's it. That's pretty simple. I think it was Bonnie Angle that said this, but I thought this was really cool. So she said, we are gold mines handing out treasure maps. So never, ever, ever, ever be scared to invite someone. We, this opportunity that we have, whether it be just the fitness part of it or just the business part of it is amazing, right? It's so incredible. So never be afraid to invite someone. We have a gold mine here, um, not just talking about financially, but like all the other stuff that it does for our lives. We have a gold mine here. Why wouldn't we want to hand out treasure maps to everyone? And so my big takeaways were take action. Always take action. There were a lot of aha moments that I had at um, the NLC, but nothing's really going to happen from it unless I take action. So take action. Be relentless. Be relentless about what you're doing, who you're helping. Just always be relentless and just try to push for more and help more people um, and just really make amazing things happen with this. And keep things simple. So three vital behaviors. If you do that in your power hour, you'll be good, right? So don't try to overcomplicate things. Make things duplicatable. So again, if you're keeping things simple, it's going to be pretty easy to duplicate. But, um, you know, make things duplicatable so you can hand it on to your coaches too. Have consistency and discipline. So do the three vital behaviors every single day. Do a power hour every single day. Um, be consistent and be disciplined about that. So know that you just have to do it no matter what. You got to do it every day. And when you have that discipline and um, you do that consistency over time, it just becomes a habit. So consistency and discipline and know that it begins and ends with success club, AKA the changing lives club, uh, success club every single month. It begins and ends with success club. So hit success club every single month and then have a plan. So plan out your day so you can rule the day every single day, have a plan. And, um, 
I think that's pretty much. Oh, so turn your aha moments into action moments. Hopefully you had some type of aha moment on this call, even just a little bit. If not, um, that's okay. But whatever, whenever you have an aha moment, turn it into action moments. That's what's going to make the big difference. And I think that's it, Joan. Thanks, Kylie. Thanks for sharing. Um, does anybody have questions? It can be about the call. It can be just about something that this made you think of. Anyone? Bueller. Bueller. Casey said, thank you, Kylie. This was awesome. Melissa said, awesome. Thanks for the info. Marissa said, what is, what is Super Saturday? Take it away, Kai. So Super Saturday, our, it's the event we have quarterly. And it's really, really awesome. Um, you know, we, you get to meet the team. We have um, a workout usually, if we, unless we do it on Fridays. But um, So we do a workout. We learn about uh, stuff from corporate, new stuff that's coming out. We have um, people speak about their success in the business and success, you know, in their fitness and their weight loss. And it's just an awesome, awesome place to learn more and meet people. And the energy is just incredible. Um, so definitely get to that event. You can ask your coach more about it too. Kelsey said, thanks for all the great tips. Heather said, great call and overview of the trip to LA. Thank you. Katie said, no questions, but awesome call, Kylie. Mary said, awesome call. All right. Well, if there's no questions, I'm going to stop recording.